I think we are ready to start. Uh, our first match is going to be something that we've had happen to ourselves. You might remember this from one time when me and Evan played together. It's something called white knighting. Basically, white knighting for cheating is where someone activates their cheats because someone on the enemy team is cheating. So they only cheat when facing a cheater, or claim to only cheat when facing a cheater. We'll start by telling you that Creams is the one who submitted the match, and he's accusing Lixie Smith of being the first cheater. And then later, we'll see what happens. Also, uh, someone had asked me to do like updates at the beginning of Hacker Replays. I'm not gonna do full updates, but one thing I can tell you guys for sure is that so last week remember how we had the zz up guy who had four accounts or like all five accounts and he was cheating on one of them and boosting the other ones i can confirm that i got all 20 of his accounts banned okay. I was just kind of expecting pulse but it wasn't like lining him up or anything uh but yeah i did get all 20 of his accounts banned which means that the guys probably spent like 30 hours or more leveling all of them up and i got them all banned I think he thinks that they're in VIP, but they're actually in base. Yeah, he's cheating. As you can tell, he has no indication that Mozzie's there. He thinks Mozzie's inside of this room. Like, he thinks Mozzie's on this corner. So then when Buck shoots right here, because, like, Mozzie's on the other side in vase, uh, Buck thinks he's about to cross the door. So then he shoots pre-firing and is like oh he's on the other side of the wall so for sure 100% buck is cheating just off that gun sound glitches are going crazy He does suck though. His aim is terrible. We'll watch one more round so you guys can see for sure that he's cheating. Okay, well I wanted to watch one more round to see, like to show proof that he was cheating and he just runs in and dies. But we'll watch another round. It's just looking at them through the wall. That type of, like, movement and aim is usually, for at least me, the biggest indicator someone's cheating if they're just staring at them through the wall. Other people will be like, oh, you know, you never just walk around like that and look at a wall? I'm like, no, I don't. That's not normal. He doesn't drone any of this out. He just knows it's all safe. He's going to swing on the Ella now. Knows Ella's there again with no intel, no drones. Pretty obvious he's cheating. Why do I hear the Solus thing? So, it's a bug, but it's also a good thing to have. Match replay is bugged where it will make a lot of noises and animations based off the person who submitted the match. So Creams, who's the one who submitted it, is Solus, so every time she uses her gadget, we hear the Solus gadget. This guy's getting pushed by like four people and he goes for the revive. I'm surprised he didn't push the pulse more, given that pulse is on the other side of the wall. Gonna ignore the pulse? It's hard to tell with this guy. It's not... Bro, he was tracking people through the wall. He is cheating. It's not hard to tell. 
If you look at someone like this and you're like, eh, they could not be cheating, you're fucking dumb. I hate to break it to you. With no drone, no intel, he knows where they are. For example, when, with the Ella, he literally just was like watching her through the wall and waiting for her to peek. Pulse is misplaying this a little bit because, yeah, I was going to say if Ash plants underneath the hard surface, Pulse can't do anything about it. If the cheater died to a thorn gadget, that would... Pulse jumped out the window and shotgunned Ash. This is where you get proof that, like, cheating just doesn't get you skill. So, obviously we know uh, the, what's his name, Lixie Smith is cheating. That part is obvious. A white knight appears in shining armor. Roller 32. He said, I know the person's cheating, so now I'm going to activate my blatant cheats to win them the game. What's funny is people will still look at this guy and be like, eh, it's probably just skill. A lot of people have different opinions on white knighting, whether it's a good thing or not. It is pretty shitty when someone starts cheating, but if someone was like a true, true white knight, where they only cheat specifically when someone else is cheating, then I'm like, okay. Not as bad, but I seriously doubt any of these people only cheat when someone's actually cheating. Like, a lot of them probably cheat all the time. And they're like, oh no, I'm just doing this because someone's cheating. Like, no, you do it all the time. What's interesting is he doesn't seem to have, some would say, the full suite of cheats. Because he still has to aim. I think he just has the one where, like, he doesn't have a hip fire. The bullets just go directly in the center. So you can hip fire anyone. But it's not like aimbot where if he just shoots close to them, it'll insta kill them. Both people cheating. This roller 32 has the better cheats. Lixie apparently only could afford the walls, which I think are like probably five dollars a day, and then this guy's paying for the like I think they're like twenty dollars a day cheats. They ended up team killing, which is why they went to overtime. But roller thirty-two was not having it. He's like, we we're gonna win this game no matter what. This is, like I mentioned before, very similar to when me and Evan were playing on Outback. An enemy player left because we were up 3-0 and then he just like full toggled and then two of our teammates full toggled. I don't know if I have, I don't think I have their real names. Wait, Roller32 died. Hold on. Does the, the budget cheater now win because of this? Now I need to know who wins. Which cheater? Man's putting down cap can traps. A whole minute into the round. He is genuinely just like a terrible cheater. I wonder if he turned off his cheese because of the Roller32 guy. Wouldn't surprise me. If he's like, well, if he's gonna cheat, I don't wanna get caught too. That was a very different playstyle than what we saw in round one where he was just straight up staring at people through the wall. And we know he's cheating because he tried to pre-fire the guy through the wall. I wonder if he turned them off just because of that. Match one done, so both people cheating. Lixie probably turned off or toggled off. 
I assume they toggled off because they didn't want to get caught in the same reports. If someone else is cheating, then why cheat? So they just kind of gave up, which is exactly how half of my matches go, because when the enemies see my varsity gaming term, they just give up because they think, there's no way we can beat this team. So if you want to pull that off against your enemies, make sure to sub to my Twitch channel today to get the charm. It's free with Twitch Prime, or you can use $5. And then match number two, I believe, is this one. I hate labs. Um, okay, in this match, match number two, we have Grim Reaper 9, who's accusing Sassinix, uh, the warden, so his own teammate. They should give White Knights a day of honor, then ban them the next day. I mean, I, I don't know how to phrase it. Basically, like, White Knights are probably doing more work than Ubisoft to combat cheaters, which is sad because they're just cheaters anyways. But we, I don't think we should honor White Knights. They're also part of the problem. Because it's very likely that they're cheating too, and they only say like, Oh yeah, I'm only cheating when someone else is cheating to just cover it up. Mm, he just stared at the Hibana through the wall. This guy good. He tried to C4 a fuse charge. He just fucking lit the shit out of the clash. I think this guy's probably cheating too, but we need to see more. Like, he's just staring at people through the wall, which is what is the most obvious. Like, he did it with the Hibana, he did it there with most of the enemies. He's probably cheating. He changes crosshair placement like classic cheaters do in CS. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain this guy's cheating, but we need more proof. Tracking the drone through the wall. You know. Let's see when he actually like tracks people or plays based off of intel he couldn't possibly have. That's what we need to see. He heard it. I mean, he tracked it perfectly through the wall. I don't know about you, but when I hear stuff, I don't track it perfectly through the wall. The... Game don't work like that. It's just looking up at them. He tried to hit who was that zero? Yeah. The other people you would at least be able to be like, oh yeah, like he heard them because it was like fuse and blitz. They're uh, heavy operators. You could hear them for sure. But then he tried to impact the zero who was standing still on the other side of a wall. There's always like one thing these guys do to just fuck it up. He's literally just tracking the fuse. Oh my god. Ugh. Not a good cheater, but he is a cheater. Let's, let's go to the last round. I'm sure he'll do something crazy here to guarantee a win. Oh. Looking at the dock. the shit out of his teammate while trying to free fire the who's that rook this fucking yang is flashing the shit out of him and i don't think it's intentional bro the yang died to a thorn uh obviously cheating I assume... Oh, this isn't even ranked. This is standard. Maybe he's trying to boost an account up to level 50. 
Uh, he has a 5.04 KD in quick play and a 2.33 KD in standard. That 5.0 KD, by the way. Oh, wait, he has 49 abandons. Never mind. I still wish they showed standard stats, but yeah, he's trying to boost his account to level 50 to probably go then cheat and ranked, but he's cheating. It is obvious. Okay, two matches done, and we already have three cheaters. Speaking of a lot of cheaters, match number three. So we have the full info here. Hangman.pu is the one accusing Bryn... 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 Oh, no. Brian Navarro, and also Kaz Jet. But he's accusing them in specific rounds. Round one, no accusation. Round two, though, he says Kaz Jet is obvious. Let's see. Let's see what the obvious apparently is. I think that could be a normal good round. I don't think that was necessarily outright cheating. I like how he played that. I was like, okay, this guy's playing it really well. Like, maybe he's just a champ or something. And then he did that. Guys, I think he might be cheating. Wait, someone on the enemy team is called You Got Mogged. What is Mogged? That sounds like a British term. Pretty sure he's cheating based off of that lining up the kite through the wall, but let's see. He said he did also cheat in this round. He said Kazja cheated in round two, three, and five. And like I said, based off of that lining up of Kaid through the wall, I'm pretty suspicious of him. Because there's like no logical reason to aim at the wall there when you're holding an angle in case they push you. The only reason to ever hold that angle is if you can see them through the wall. him in this round. He said Kazjet in round 2, 3, and 5. But I didn't see anything suspicious there. Okay, so now round 4, he says it's uh, the Bryn or Bry guy. Brian Navarro. He says in this round, this guy cheats. Who's 0 and 1, by the way. Wait, oh. Was he gone? They did. They were missing a person, so I think he was gone. He's the last one, so I, mean, I think that means he rejoined. But he says this guy cheats all th last three rounds, four, five, six, and then he says Kazjet cheats in round five. Guys, I, th I think I think he might be cheating. He's tracking drones outside. I think he might be cheating. That would explain why he was gone for all those rounds. Oh yeah, he's, he's fucking... He is walling. Walling off his tits. He was tracking the zero. So that explains why he was gone for three or two rounds. He was activating his cheats. He's just staring at them through the wall. Oh. He's trying to get the angle on him. He's like slowly creeping up the stairs. This is 
aim. He doesn't I don't think he has soft aim. But this guy's definitely cheating. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. If you guys are trying to look on Twitch at your percentage of drop rate, I think you literally just have to click on your name in the top right and it'll tell you how far along you are for the drops. Was he trying not to get the A so that he's not obvious? Yeah, he's trying, like, he clearly knows gridlock's over there to the left. He's trying to bait her into pushing up. Because yeah, he's pinging where she is. Oh my god. And he knew she was there. That's crazy. How do they do it? Oh wait, I went to round six. I need to go to round five. So we know for sure, obviously, the Brian Navarro guy is cheating. That is without a doubt. Uh, they still said Kazjet cheated in round five. So far, the only thing I've seen with Kazjet is that they lined up Kaid through a wall, which is fairly suspicious. But if it's the only thing they do the entire game, then uh, I don't know if I'd be comfortable saying they're cheating off of that. Just because, like, maybe they they could have had a freak incident where that happened. Now, if they do it again this round, then they're definitely cheating. I wonder what rank this lobby is, because, like, fuck is this castle set up, bro? Like, what? This is terrible. In round three, just after prep phase, he lined someone up through a wall from spawn as well. I will go back and check that. Thank you, Michael. Look at that. TikTok chat being good for once. really weird and choppy sometimes. Also, it bothers me that we can't see any of the bar. The entire bar is just missing. What's the point of that a zombie? How does that benefit him in any way? Wait, they lose this round. I just realized. I wonder what he does that's obvious cheating in this round. Hmm. He's not really doing anything. Definitely be able to hear the ace here. We know someone's over here by couches. Looked like a reaction and he whiffed, so I assume he's fine there. Alright, let's look at some stats. Uh, the Bry guy has stir mode, so we're not going to be able to see his stats. We'll just look up Kazjet just in case. Kazjet, um, previously a champion before rank 2.0. That's a weird stat change like consistently plat for what is it like 10 seasons off comes back champ off comes back diamond champ but i mean being a plat player is high enough that i guess getting champs not too crazy oh i didn't see enough i i saw the one kite incident i'd leave him as undetermined obviously the bry guy is cheating all right uh match number four Wait, so so far we have three matches, four cheaters, one undetermined. Match number four is Clubhouse, where we have 
Fezia submitted this match, and they are accusing Senpai03. Fezia, not the one who submitted the match. So it means it was either Lango or Rags who submitted the match. Let's see. Okay, so it was Rags who submitted it. I don't know why they gave me a different name. Maybe their friend is Rags, and they didn't have the match replay, so they submitted it for them. Okay, let's start over. So it's Rags submitting this match, accusing Senpai03. Senpai guy was already like just standing there staring through walls, but you'd be able to hear the ace here. That looked fine. The fact that he used both his impacts here is concerning. Such a waste. And he, like he already abandoned it, wasted both his impacts. That's crazy. Oh. Oh, he's cheating. Okay. I, you know, I had like a little bit of benefit of the doubt. I was like, you know, maybe, maybe he just heard Ace. No, he's, he's straight up cheating. So, uh, that one will be a quick one. I don't know if that's a streamer mode name or not. O3, I think is too low of a number to be a streamer mode name. look up their stats if this is their actual name. Uh, Senpai03 has a 5.4 KD in quick play. God damn. Only 7, er, it's 9 matches total. Only a 1.15 KD in rank though. But it looks like he's hard stuck plat. But we can't see match history. I thought he dropped a 9 KD in rank that day. 5.7 KD, 3.6 KD, 1.78 KD. They're all fairly high KDs for ranked, especially when not too long ago he was dropping like 0 0.5, 0 0.7. Bro, he went... No, okay, so you can tell he's cheating because this season he started off, every single match he played was like a 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 KD. And then... One day, which was actually just today slash yesterday, he all of a sudden went up to like 7kd, 5kd, 9kd. Like, no, he definitely bought cheats. But if we go to the last round, we'll see him tracking people. Okay, let's see what he does here. He's just looking at them through the floor, as one does. Because if you're running across the roof, you're not going to just stare at the floor. Eyeing them up. His knee is just... <laughs> the knee is being unruly. Wait, oh, he loses this match. I just noticed. Maybe because he spends all of his time just sitting here and waiting instead of actually doing something. Bro, he's staring at him through the wall. And people will still say he just got better. So, that was the proof we needed. Obviously, he's cheating. Common free fire. Good gaming chair. <laughs> Indecision. He's like, which one do I try to kill first? Oh, that, wait, what? He must have soft aim. There's, how was that a headshot? What? He didn't hit a single bullet there. 
He shot over here, and that was a headshot over there. Bruh. Alright, he's got soft aim. He's cheating. Now we know why he went from a 0 0.4 KD to a... Like a 1.5. Which one are we on? It's one of these two. Order. Okay, I knew it. I saw this match, and I was like, hold up. I was like, I recognize that name. In this match, we have Gaseous Gas, who's accusing Femboy Lover. On the enemy team is myself, Ben, and Kit. I, I saw this match, and I was like, that, I was like, Femboy Lover? I was like, I remember that name. Because I remember he made Ben uncomfortable. Because Ben started talking. He's like, do you love femboys? And Ben's like, I'm uncomfortable now. And then, uh, then they also said they were queued with Q-Tweak. And I was like, I fucking remember Q-Tweak as well. I was like, they were in my match. So I also remember, I think when we were playing this game, someone on the enemy team started typing, being like, femboy lover is cheating. And then Ben, I think, mentioned it to me. Let's find out. It's one of my matches. Oh, this game? Fuckers filled the lobby chat during the game. Ben, do you remember what happened? I just remember you mentioning at one point, you were like, someone on the enemy team accused someone of cheating. And I was like, oh, hopefully we don't actually have a cheater. He's not spawn peeking valley, which is different. Thanks for 25 months, Jade Wavern. Or Wyvern, probably. He's not looking at people through walls. He's not going anywhere to, like, line them up. I'm curious if this guy accused the match because we were in it. Like, if he knows me. He may know that I was in the match, because I get fucking stream sniped, Q sniped all the time. But hopefully he didn't submit just because I was on the end of the team. I just remember someone on their accused on their team accused someone on our team of cheating, but I thought it was them just being salty. I mean I didn't see anything in this match, so. Okay, hold up. Okay, he dies to the lion. But he shot lion through the wall. Mm, okay, maybe he heard him. Alright, round number two. If he does stuff like that again, I'll be a bit more suspicious, but I think. Maybe he just got lucky on that spray. The reason why I think he got lucky on that spray and it wasn't cheating is because of that. Like, he keeps holding angles from spawn longer than a cheater normally would. Because normally a cheater, like, let's say you're holding this angle and no one spawns over there. Within, like, 10 seconds, they leave that spot. Because, like, it's a waste of time. I know no one spawned there. But he's holding it for, like, 30 seconds. Which makes me feel like he is clean. And since Ben said that they were just going crazy in the text chat, it wouldn't surprise me if they only accused him of being a cheater because they were salty. Especially considering they went... They went double shield this quickly. I mean, I don't know, like... I don't think his kills are suspicious. I just think that he gets a lot of them and very easily. If I'm not mistaken, I do remember that this match was... Like, they weren't that good. If I'm remembering the match correctly. I won't call them bad, because I don't think they're bad bad. I just think that boy lover might be a little bit better. That was a tasty ass shot. That's what I'm saying. Like, his shots are kind of crazy, but 
again, at the same time, like, the enemy team doesn't seem that good. Like, he just... The Blitz walked in. Looking away from him, he just shot him inside the head. The Thermite and Lion kill after were a little weird, but... Again, if he's a confident shooter and, like... We've seen that he seems to like, be legit. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he just runs out on them all the time. If you are in need of medical attention, alert the border Show my sick agent. maestro setup. If you have been... Yeah, this was Ben's super cool maestro setup. Wow. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't think he's cheating, but I can understand where they'd be get getting accusatory. So like he wall banged the lion, and then here he does happen like as soon as they finally push that door, he happens to shoot through it at head level and almost hit the osa. Look, it doesn't surprise me that they're like, yeah, this guy's cheating. If I was walking through that door and he just starts spraying through, I'd be like, okay, this guy fucking knows where we are. We also got to keep in mind, with these panels, he can hear over. So if they had broken the door and he's like, alright, they're about to walk through. He can just spray across. I don't remember him getting that many kills, though. I remember this match. I remember it just kind of being like... The rounds kept ending. I was like, oh, I didn't even do anything. I just sat in a corner all around. I remember him getting like a crazy amount of kills. I thought he killed someone with that. I was like, how? Oh, set her shield out. He just walked right past the nook. I really like he was looking at the nook. Seemed fine. His teammate, or like our teammate, just died there, so. And if they are queued together, it wouldn't surprise me if like he gave a call out or something to him. I don't remember him giving a call out in the game, though. I don't think they talked once at all. And here he's still holding uh, a visa or whatever the fuck that room is, his passport. Even though Osa's already right next to Ben. I don't know. I think, I think they're fine. You should be able to throw a Flora's drone oh, in there and have it act like a C4 wall and repel. Your 9 buff for Flora's. I like it. We obviously lose this round because there's a sixth round. I don't really remember this round. It's times like these where I wish match replay would also include text chat. I think that would be such a good change because then you could see what people are saying at any given time. Or at least been shot by the monster. I can't remember how he loses this. I think he loses it to Clash. Oh no, he jumps in here and dies to Mira. Or tries to jump in here. Just sprayed, but I think I remember hearing Mira there because I was like, "Oh, she's close, right?" And he missed his shots. So far? 
I don't think they're cheating. I mean, don't get me wrong, I can completely understand why they would accuse this person of cheating, because, like, they were on a team with us. Okay. I mean, okay, so, like, he breaks the door. I got a little bit suspicious of this, because, like, is he trying to pre-fire the warden, and then, like, oh, warden's behind the server rack. He had already shot there before the mute got there or smoke got there. So like, I think it's fine. But imagine you already accuse this person of cheating, and then he just one taps you through the wall in the head. Wait, what is Clash doing? Hold up. Yo, she crazy with it. How is she holding that like that? <laughs> Wait, oh, Femboy Lover's down. Oh, he died. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think he's cheating. I think he's fine. I can understand fully why they would, like, accuse him of cheating. I, I think if I were on the enemy team and we had already been suspicious of him and then he just tapped me through a wall, I'd been like, hmm, he's probably cheating. But honestly, I think it was just because it was standard, he was just like, I'm just going to spray through the walls as much as I can, and he did that. A lot of people use that as, or like, do this, use standard as a warm-up and just will spray everywhere, hoping to get pre-fires. Okay, uh, that match is done. Last one is on Chalet. This is the one where I was like... The name, I, I was like not going to include this because the name's kind of bad. It's poking fun at a content creator, but um, it was Godly Boob and then the Macy one accusing Skibbity, Skibbity Riz. I still don't know what a Skibbity Toilet is, but I'm afraid to find out. I wasn't like no recoil, so doesn't have that, unless... Okay. I'm a little concerned. It looked like he, like, practiced shooting it, realized it wasn't working, and then, like, tabbed out and activated it. But then the second volley wasn't, like, no recoil, so... Okay, if he is cheating, he sucks. He just fucking lost what should have been an easy gunfight. When she's skibbity on my toilet. What does that mean? Skibbity Riz. Round two. Don't know gun skin. That is weird. Gray gun skin and then attachment skin. Alright. Is... Does he have like a... No, it is just the base attack Or base skin. I'll admit, I haven't used the R4C in a while. Is the recoil that easy to control? I haven't played Ash in probably months now. He has like zero recoil and it has a silencer on it. No. Like I know he's using a one time so it wouldn't be as bad. But I swear when he is shooting it's just like literally zero movement. Which even like a pro can't obtain. Because people will always be like, oh, like that's just like champ level aim. Like, no, there's a very big difference between champ level aim and a like a recoil cheat. Because even if you watch like pros aim, their gun will still like jitter. That's how you know it's legit. Uh, whereas if they were to have a no recoil cheat, it doesn't like shake at all, it's completely still. Isn't really shot like enough for me to determine that. We'll have to watch more, obviously, but. But 
Like, him doing that makes me feel like he's cheating because he's trying to hide what he's doing. Like, he intentionally shook like crazy when shooting them just to make it look bad. Like, you don't do that normally. All right, now this will be a good way to determine. He's running Zofia. I assume M762, which is... Oh, LMG. Okay. This will be a big way to tell. If he... Never mind. What is he doing? Is he... Is, is that his way of like making artificial recoil? Because that wasn't real recoil. Like that wasn't the gun going up. That looked like him moving it up. I think he has a no recoil sheet. Maybe not walls? Maybe walls? I don't know. I can't tell. It looks like he's forcing recoil. Like, none of these shots look like they actually have recoil. It looks like he's trying to create it. Because, I don't know. I don't know, how to, I don't know how to describe it other than, like, you can tell when someone's actually controlling recoil versus, like, what this is. And, like, even that feels intentional. Like, why is he just staring at the window, looking at the middle of the field? Like, it looks like he was faking holding that so that he could be ready to, to shoot that person. I don't know. I'm like... Now he's gonna fight. Yeah, he's firing off Ying perfectly. I think he's cheating. He's... He's playing way too weird in a way that, like, is... I don't know, it looks like he's just trying to create excuses as to why he knows where people are. He, he, know, he knew that Ying was in there. He knew to shield there and fire there. He's just trying to act like a bot. Oh no, now he's going the Evan loadout. Iron sights only. Oh shit, this round's over in, in 30 seconds. Guys, I think he might do something. Oh, he definitely has. Yeah, okay, he has no recoil cheats. That was, like, no movement. Oh, guys, he activated everything. Look at those shots. No, he's cheating. He literally just tried to line them up. He, he definitely activated everything. This guy just went full toggle. Oh, we'll see it so much now because it's it's the last round. Like if they lose this, they lose the game. This guy's about to start fucking. He's gonna take off like a helicopter. He's just admiring his work of art. This is what Ben does. Oh, does he have the maestro cheat? Oh. He has everything, everything. I don't know if you guys caught that. He insta-killed someone with the turret. <laughs> In case you were wondering. It wasn't someone else shooting him. He, he has the infinite laser. And everything. Damn, what a skill shot. I knew he was cheating. As soon as he did that fake recoil thing, I was like, something's up here. Evan would still give him the benefit of the doubt. Alright, he's cheating. And I think that was a stir mode name, right? Yes, it is. Though so we can't even find out who it is. And I think uh, R6 tracker is still not working where we can, like, look up previous matches or is it working nope 
it's still not working. Okay, that's Hacker Replay for today. So, out of all the matches we watched, only one of them didn't have cheaters. So, Lixie, Roller, Cynix, Bry uh, on the cafe. No, what was it? Clubhouse match? I can't remember. No, it's cafe. Um, and then Senpai and Skibby D were all cheating. Femboy Lover and QT Week or QT Week weren't. Kazjet, I don't think was, but we were like, eh, jury's still out. They had a suspicious lineup on Cafe, but not enough to determine for sure they were cheating off of that. Um, but okay, a lot of cheaters today.